Welcome back to daytime here on Rogers TV coming to you from the Forks of the Thames and right off in the distance on one of the poles at beautiful Labatt Park, a beautiful osprey. It's an osprey nest. Yeah, an osprey. gigantic. Right I there thought it was top. a pterodactyl nest. <laughs> no, that's how big that nest is. And yeah. that's the thing about London right here in the heart of the city. So much wildlife going on. You never know what you're going to find. So you always want to be ready with the best, best in digital cameras. And here to walk us through that wild, wild world is Michael Sangster from Superior Computers. He is the digital camera expert and Apple trainer there. Great to have you back on the show, Michael. Thanks. Appreciate being here. All right. So your tough job as uh, being a digital camera expert at Superior Computers means that you must use all of the cameras. Uh, yeah, you kind of get uh, used to playing with all the new technology, trying all the new stuff, um, and finding out what people like, what they're looking for. You know, so we all know uh, in the future when I'm selling something, you know, I'm matching the right camera, the right customer, and making sure we get them the right product. So, Well, and a lot of times what a customer is looking for is a digital camera that will do everything. I want a digital camera yeah. that will take great pictures. I want a digital camera that will uh, be, you know, resistant. I think will go anywhere. Is, is that a lot of times what you're dealing with? It is. And I mean, what we're finding things like the one in your hand, you know, this is what we call a summer camera, a great travel companion, something to go anywhere. Uh, this one by Nikon is called an AW110 and it's designed basically that I can get it wet. I can drop it. You know, if I was a person who was skiing in the winter time, it can get frozen. You know, it's not going to affect it. Uh, but I can take it underwater. So, you know, I can go in the pool, go down, well, 59 feet, a little more than the pool. But it gives me that type of uh, capabilities. Plus, I have a great zoom. Uh, this is also one of the new Wi-Fi compliant cameras, too, right. which means basically right from the camera, I can send those pictures to things like my smartphone and then basically be able to get them up instantly uh, online and share them with my friends. And a lot of people say things to us like, well, that's great, why, why do I need that feature? Because I already have a phone and my phone takes pictures. So but why our, wouldn't I just use my phone, right? Because our phones take okay pictures. <laughs> but if I wanna have great pictures and I, you know, I wanna share some fantastic photos up to Facebook, I can use a Wi-Fi compliant camera and send that information up to them. So it's great. Well, it's really smart of the camera companies to add that feature because I'm sure with the advent of the camera being on phones and, and being such a high quality, uh, people were getting away from the camera. Do you find people are getting back to it? Yeah, we're, we're hitting that point now where people are saying, I want something better. The cameras, you know, like the phone system that we have, they all have like an okay camera. The zooms are limited. There's just so much I can do with it. Yeah, they're with us all the time. But what we're finding now is people are saying, I want something really good. I want to get back to the days, like my dad used to take fantastic pictures and we want to relive those moments and have better things. So yeah, I brought a couple of different cameras that basically are designed to show kind of a, a spectrum of some of this new stuff people are after. So. All right, so maybe some of the, the cool features of this guy? Same type of thing. This is basically a, a cheaper version of the Nikon, um, but for somebody who wants to, you know, maybe save like $100, just not as much zoom range on this one compared to the Nikon camera. Again, still underwater, still does the GPS geotagging, so it'll pinpoint, you know, where on the earth I was when I took my pictures. No Wi-Fi com uh, compatibility with this one. But again, fully waterproof. I can go swimming with it. If I'm getting hosed, you know, I can actually get some spray on it. It's not going to matter. It not works wrong. great. Beautiful. Yeah. All right. And you've also got a, uh, I don't want to move up to the uh, the SLRs just yet, but if we are going to move up, talk about this guy. This one here is kind of an extreme point and shoot. So somebody who wants to still have all the capabilities of a nice small point and shoot camera, but they want to have something that has a big zoom. I want to pull things in nice and close. This gives me the capability to pull things in really, really up front and close, but all automated. I don't have to worry about, you know, do I have to adjust my shutter speed? Do I have an aperture? Right. Do I have to focus? Everything is designed to be automatic, point and shoot for me. Plus it also does fantastic video. So, I mean, if I want to use it as a video camera, this one has a secondary zoom button on the side as well as on the top. So if I'm holding it more like a video camera, I can actually use it more like a straightforward video camera. That is very handy. Wow, yeah. that is so cool. All right, so we've got, we've taken our little step up. Uh, I would call it a big step uh, from the camera that I have at home. Um, and we're getting a little more interested in photography. Is that what this camera is yeah, for? Yeah, this is where you'd start to be starting off basically for a photographer basically at home who's, you know, they've kind of bypassed the point and shoot line. Now they want to go to that next step, interchangeable lenses. They want to have more capabilities. And I actually have a couple of them here. Um, basically, we have a micro four thirds camera here and then a regular sized, uh, what this one's classified as a DX series by Nikon. 
And this is where you'd really start to go, wow, my pictures are really improving. People a lot of times concentrate on that megapixel count. And you know, they think that a, a 14 megapixel camera is the same if I'm in a small camera as I am in a large camera. And it's not the truth. The larger the camera, the larger the chip sensor is. So again, we get less noise in our pictures. Everything's sharper. I can use them in lower light capabilities. So this gives you a real advantage. But the nice part is interchangeable lenses. At any point, I can swap it out. I can add flashes on if I want to get uh, something even better. That's really what I'm looking for, something better. Could you zoom in on that osprey nest with this guy? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's one of actually the things people get a little confused about is they see this and they go, yeah. oh, I want this camera because it's going to pull in far. Because yes. it's big, right? Yeah, this is going to pull in a lot further. All than right. This is. Well, Beautiful. we have a long way to go in our tech. That's why Michael's sticking around from Superior Computer is back with more daytime after this. Welcome back to daytime right here at the Forks of the Thames, smack dab in the middle of London. So many great photo opportunities. That's why we bring in our digital camera expert, Michael Sangster. And Michael, to be perfectly honest, uh, myself included, and a lot of people, I think, are using their phones and even their tablets as their mm -hmm. digital cameras now, too, because a lot of the tablets actually have pretty decent cameras in them as well. They're, they're getting better all the time. Yeah. So in, in the tablets have the other aspect for digital camera users as well. We can use them to store our photos when we're out and about and moving around. So it kind of gives us one of those extra types of functions that we normally wouldn't get. And even in the last part, when we were talking uh, with Wi-Fi connectivity now, I can connect my tablets uh, directly to my uh, digital cameras. In a lot of cases, I can store my photos directly on here. Some of them even give me the ability, uh, Panasonic's come out with a few, that I can control right from my tablet. You know, right. if I want to set the shutter to go off, I just touch the tablet and off it goes. So, yeah. Wow, that is very cool. And yeah, more than ever, you see people just sort of holding them up and they've got that great big screen. And mm -hmm. by people, of course, I mean my mother. Yep. Um, now, tablets as a form on their own, they're like, you, they're in need. You know, we got our computer, we got our mm -hmm. phone and, and everyone needs a tablet. Yeah, it's kind of really edging into the laptop market, right? People are now starting to say, I don't know if I really need a full laptop. I just need to sometimes just check my email. I want to be able to go on, you know, check my Facebook. I want to be able to, you know, do some browsing online. And this is where the tablet computers are really becoming uh, popular. And again, there's different, you know, styles that we have. I brought like the Apple iPad and iPad mini, which are by far, of course, the king of the tablet world. But we also have ones by uh, Lenovo, which you know make a beautiful Windows 8 tablet. So something really, really nice for a Windows user who's already experienced using it. There's no learning curve involved. It's just very simple and easy to go from one thing to another. Okay, so is that how you pick your tablet? Because you just said, you know, the iPad and the iPad mini, those are the kings. Are they the kings because Mar Apple's a great marketer? Or are they kings because they're the best tablet? Well, you know, the way I always said to people to buy a tablet is where do I get my content? Where do I get my media? So if I'm a person who's really actively using iTunes, I'm going to go ahead and buy an Apple iPad, right? Because I'm used to it. I know where I can get my movies, my videos. I know where I can go ahead and say, yeah, I also want to grab things like uh, uh, my content. It's, it's all the same. But if I'm a Windows user, I may already say, well, I know how Windows works. I'm going to go ahead and migrate into that. But where we see a big thing is the number of apps available. Apple right now still has about 800,000 apps. So for a tablet, that's a tremendous amount of apps. And we see people with the Google and the uh, Android tablets are now saying, well, hey, we're over a million apps. But here's the one kick. Exclusively for tablet use, you're going to find that the iPad has about 270,000 made just for tablet. In other words, they're higher resolution, they're better on a tablet. On a phone, I, I'll say Android basically is winning that market right now, it seems. But in a tablet form, the iPad is still king. Yeah, a lot of times you'll you'll come across an app that may not just quite work right with the mm -hmm. with the Android sometimes, but uh, yeah. And it's As, the quality. The quality is there. You know, when people come up and say, I want something easy, well, Apple doesn't make it any easier. I mean, it's so simple. It's just so easy to work with. And that's why people have always migrated into the Apple tablets. Is that why, you know what, and that's, I think, the way tablets are going. They're just so much more user-friendly. Everything is so very intuitive when it comes to uh, to tablets. Do you think, are you starting to see a an age difference as well? I mean, it seems to me that this will be a perfect opportunity for seniors to get into well, computing. I, I just did a, a guest appearance basically up at, like, Riverbend. 
And, and the group up there said, like, wow, I, I, how many people here have tablets? Everybody had their hands up. Yeah. It was like almost, why wouldn't we have a tablet? And they're actually engaging it more than I'd say even a lot of younger people. They're going, this is a great alternative to a laptop. I don't need all this extra stuff. You know, if I'm in business and working, I may require something more like this, like a ThinkPad, because, you know, here's a tablet that acts more like a standard computer, right? I can actually click on this at the side oh, and pull wow. this off and basically take it. You know, I have things on this one, like a stylus. So, you know, if I need to actually write on the tablet, I can. But this will run, you know, full Windows, full Office, everything else that I'm, you know, already used to. But for a lot of people, that's overkill. I just want to go on. Sure. You know, browse the internet. But if I'm you done. if you need the best of both worlds, if you if you do want to uh, to be able to do to both of them, this is a great opportunity. And, and that's where the Apple iPad I find is a little bit on the weaker side. It's not really geared towards the business user as much. If I want to have Word, Excel, PowerPoint, now I have the ability with something like the ThinkPad, I can have yeah. those full blown. It's a computer in tablet size. Well, and I so. think if, if anybody and myself included ever had a uh, something bad to say about the tablet, it's. It just doesn't feel the same typing on a, a no. virtual screen, right? No, it, but again, it gets better and better all the time. So what we're finding now is there are some new ways to do typing, which make things even better. Uh, Android has some fantastic typing apps, right? For being able to swipe as you type. Yeah. Just great things, really, really simple and easy to use. And the predictive is getting better. We're no longer, you know, sending people the wrong stuff as much. So. <laughs> exactly. Oh, I'm still sending some of the wrong stuff. That's <laughs> why too. I have the right people to help me. Superior Computers, uh, Michael Sangster, thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you. Thanks for having and me. And we can always find uh, Michael and all of our great friends at Superior Computers at 2200 Warrencliffe Road South, 652-6617. Get them on Facebook. Get them on Twitter, SoupComp. That's their handle and superiorcomputers.ca. More data and some lovable friends coming up right after this.